Hey everyone, this is Jordan from StickLens.com and in this video I want to talk about the brand new slider that is in Adobe Lightroom CC version 8.3 and up and that is going to be the texture slider. The texture slider is a really great slider that uh, I've been playing around with and it does exactly what the name says. It either enhances or decreases the uh, textures that are in your photo. So a great way to demonstrate this is with this portrait here. Uh, the, uh, uh, one, one fantastic use for the texture slider is to kind of smooth out skin. Typically you would have used the clarity to try to kind of mimic that effect, but the texture slider actually kind of concentrates on the smaller details of the photo, whereas the clarity slider kind of does an overall adjustment. So just to kind of demo what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna zoom into her face here. And I'm going to do a side by side before and after just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the texture slider. And as you see what happens, it's kind of smoothing out the skin. It doesn't necessarily look terrible. Um, it does have sort of a dreamy effect to it, but it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, I'm almost down at uh, now I'm down at negative 100 and it still looks pretty, pretty smooth, pretty fairly realistic. I mean, if you were to zoom out, um, you would still kind of see that there's a little bit of blotchiness, but overall it looks not that bad. If I were to compare that to the clarity, you can see that it kind of muddies up the the uh, the colors. Uh, we have a lot more orange and pop up here and a lot more purples and it just distorts the colors a little bit. So uh, that is a, a, a great way of using the texture slider is to kind of smooth out the textures in, uh, in the photo. So one great way to do this, especially if you don't want to do like an overall adjustment like this, is to use a brush. So this actual new slider is available in the brushes section as well. So if I would just grab a, a regular brush, get my texture, I'm going to start at, uh, let's say, negative 40. And I'm just going to go around the skin and smooth out the skin here. Just kind of going around like you normally would if you were to paint paint in a skin smoothing effect. Um, just kind of going around here very quickly, just like that. Obviously, we would need to uh, you know get the clone stamp tool, get out some of these little blemishes here. But for the most part, the skin is fairly smooth. You can see the before and after here. And we can obviously play with it, smooth it down a little bit more. If we wanted to go the other way, though, we could actually, for someone like this who has natural freckles, we can actually give her more freckles. We can, you know, add more texture to the skin. All right, so there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I know a lot of people out there are probably going to use this effect um, when it comes to smoothing skin because that is what a lot of photographers have been wanting is a nice easy way to smooth the skin rather than relying on the clarity slider or even hopping into Photoshop. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of the new texture slider. Play around with it on your photos, see what you can get, what kind of effects you can get with your images, and you can actually use this for other effects, maybe like a fake depth of field as well. There's a lot of things you can do with this new texture slider, and it's going to be really, really fun to play around with. So thank you guys for joining me in this quick walkthrough. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens, and I'll see you in the next video.